Welcome to my five minute distribution preview of Arch Linux with XFCE. Now XFCE is a lightweight desktop environment for Linux and um, uh, you could tell that at by default it's very uh, plain looking but um, it only uses about 200 megabytes of RAM on my 64-bit machine. And you can see I've made a lot of modifications to the appearance here. Here's the uh, Thunar uh, file manager. And I added a, um, an appearance theme, which I'll provide in the description below, as well as some other notes as to what modifications I made. I added Conky, and here is the Excel music player. Um, and, um, you know, this is a lightweight music player that's kind of a throwback to about... 10 years ago before iTunes bloated everything up with um, adding all these uh, extras that you really don't need. So here you can control your entire library and um, as well as any uh, podcasts or uh, music stations. Now also you can uh, set it up to alt tab through windows that are on your desktop or even windows on all active desktops. Now here is Firefox. Now by default um, the fonts are pretty plain. XFCE as well as LXDE don't come with a heck of a lot pre-installed so I added Deja Vu TrueType font to uh, give it a more clean look. But also a lot of fonts will be added with some of the other applications like uh, LibreOffice added some fonts. Um, when I installed Chromium later on it, w it also added some uh, extra fonts um, to go with it. YouTube, again, um, you have to uh, add the Flash plugin from the repository. But um, as you can see, it plays very nicely. I've actually found that uh, Flash is a lot more responsive in Arch Linux than it was in Ubuntu, which is why I love XFCE, because I could redesign it to look more polished. Now, Package Manager is probably the most important part of Arch Linux because you can it's a rolling release, and so all you have to do is update your cache and then update your system super quick. So I tend to run these updates about once or twice a week, and every time there's about 25 megs of updates. Now, um, another cool thing is uh, you could just do a simple sodo command and install all the applications you need. I'm actually installing both Opera and Chromium at the same time. And... Uh, skipping some of the install results. Uh, you can see that uh, both of them installed. And uh, let's take a look at Opera. Now in the past uh, I've used Opera as more of a debugging tool as a web designer because it's a very unforgiving web page for HTML errors. But um, lately I've been finding that Opera has actually become one heck of a browser over the last couple years. And now they have this cool new feature that I haven't seen on other browsers before. Um, it's actually called Opera Turbo, and this will take a um, unprotected web page, like you know, something that you're not logged into, for instance, and it will send the data to their servers and then send it back to you, which will give you a, a net savings and bandwidth. So if you're using a slow DSL connection or um, or a dial-up connection, you could speed up your computer that way. And let's take a quick look at. Uh, customizing the launcher. Now I took some design nods from Ubuntu's uh, latest interface for 11.10 and added myself a little um, launcher on the left side pane and added a transparency there. So I'm adding Chromium and Opera to my little um, stylized launcher here. So you can see that even with XFCE you can have a very elegant looking um, interface without having to deal with all the RAM bloating <laughs> that you have with uh, some other uh, uh, distributions. Actually not distributions but Windows environments like KDE. So let's take a quick look at the video preview. The M player here will open by default but you can see it constrains the proportions to my screen so um, I closed that up but it is the default player so I have to set it up uh, to uh, VLC which I got from the repositories and the next time I open it the uh, widescreen video will show up in the right dimensions. Well hey thanks for um, watching my video guys and I hope I didn't bore you guys too much uh, talking about XFCE so uh, take it easy and thanks. Bye!